Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll illustrate the use of Solid Camp's multi sided machining to complete the machining of this machine fixture as shown over here. As you can see, it has to be machined from multiple sides this side, this side, on this side, as well as the top itself. If we take a quick look at our coordinate system manager, you can see that we've built different positions for different sides of the part itself, as shown over here. Now, the first operations that I'd like to do are face mill operations to clear off the top side over here, as well as the flip sides as shown over here. All of these faces I'd like to do using the face mill operation. So if I were to open up the first operation, you'll see that we'll be working in position one. The geometry is the boundary around the stock itself. The tool in this particular case will be a 100 millimeter face mill and we'll be just doing one cut on top. If we go into our technology, you'll see that we're using the hatch option to machine the top as this length on top over here is 154 millimeters, which is smaller than the face mill itself. So we have to use the hatch option in order to finish off that face. Taking a quick look at the simulation, you'll see that the tool goes down across and clears it off using the hatch technology to finish off that face. Next, we'll be doing this on position two as shown over here. In this particular case, when I open up the operation, we'll be using again the face milling option and the boundary again will be around that side of the part. If I go into my levels, again, you'll see that we'll be clearing off a total in this particular case of two millimeters. Of excess material and if I go into my technology this time we'll be working one pass as the tool can clear this off all in one pass over the part taking a quick look at the simulation again you'll see the tool will come down this time on the side and in one pass clear off that surface as shown over here we'll continue doing the face mill operations on the other sides as well, such as this position over here, this position over here, as well as this position over here, all of them using the exact same technology that we did in Mac 1 position 2. Next, we'll start with our profile operations. In our profile operations, I like to first start by clearing off this step over here. So if I go into the operation itself, you can see that the geometry in this particular case is this line going across over there. And you can also see that we're working in position one. The tool in this case is a 20 millimeter end mill and the levels going down to this step over here. If I were to go into a technology, you'll see that we're going down every 10 millimeters, but since this area is larger than the diameter of the tool, we have to use the option of clear offset in order to clear off over here, this entire area. So we did an offset of 80 millimeters. The first step will be 80 millimeters from the wall and then stepping in every 10 millimeters. If I want, I can also add the option of complete Z level. This way, it'll first clear off the top and then go down to its next step, going clearing off that step as well. Let's take a quick look at the simulation and you'll see that the tool goes down, clears off that step, and then works down to the next step until it gets to the very end of the part. Now our next operation will be the exact same as this previous operation that we did. However, this will just be doing a finish cut on the part itself. Next, we'll go into our pocket operation. The pocket operation that we'll be working on is this area over here, which is an open pocket. If I were to open up the operation itself, 
you'll see we'll again be working in Mac 1 position 1. The geometry is this pocket as shown over here with this edge marked as an open edge. The tool will again be the 20 millimeter end mill and the levels will be from this surface up until the depth of the pocket as shown over here. In my technology, we'll go into our option of open pocket and I've used the option of use profile strategy and approach from outside. If we were to take a look at the simulation of the part, you'll see that the tool goes down and works with the profile type of tool pass on that area itself. Our next operation will be to clear out this pocket over here. So again, we'll be using the option of pocket, but this time the geometry is completely closed. So there is no open pocket strategy in this case. The tool will be a smaller end mill, a 12 millimeter end mill, and the levels will be going from the top of that surface over there, going all the way down to the bottom of the part with an extra delta of minus one millimeter so it goes past that edge itself stepping down every six millimeters in my technology as i said there is no option of open pocket since everything in these in this pocket is completely closed taking a quick look at the simulation again you'll see that the tool goes down into the part helical its way into the pocket itself and then finishes working on that pocket to its proper depth. Now the next operations are also pocket operations using the open strategy just like we did in this pocket over here. First working on these two open pockets and also working on this top surface over here also defined as an open pocket having these sides over here marked as closed and everything else marked as open. And the same was done for this pocket here as well, working the exact same way that it worked on this pocket here. Next, we'll be working on the pockets on this side over here, as well as the pocket on the flip side. The technology we'll be using will again be the option of pocket and again just like in the ones we did on this side over here this is also an open pocket as shown over here these sides here are completely open and these sides here are marked as closed edges we'll be using a 20 millimeter end mill to clear out that area over there and the levels will be from the top up until that surface if you go into our technology, you can see we're using the open pocket strategy. Just a quick simulation on that part. You can see that the tool is working on that area as shown over there using the profile strategy to clear off that pocket over there. The same thing was done with this tool on the flip side over here, clearing it out in the exact same way. Now in our next pocket operation, We've used the option of rest machining to clear out these corners. Since these corners are smaller than the 20 millimeter end mill can get into. So we've used a smaller end mill to get into those areas. If we were to open up the operation, you'll see that the geometry is the exact same geometry. However, the tool in this particular case is a 10 millimeter end mill, which can go into those corners. If I go into my technology, you see we have the option of rest and I've defined my previous tool diameter as 20 millimeters. Taking a quick look at the simulation, you'll see that the tool will go only into those corners, working, clearing off those corners where the previous tool cannot go into. The same was done on the other side over here as well working only on those corners itself. Now we'll turn to our drilling operations that has to be done on our first position as shown over here. All of these holes have to be drilled out. 
Now, we'll start off with our first drilling operation, working on this hole over here, and we'll be doing a spot drill on those holes itself. Going into the operation, you'll see that my geometries are those two holes, and my tool will be a 16 millimeter spot drill. My levels will be going down a total of eight millimeters into the part. And if I take a look at the simulation, you'll see that my drill goes down, does a spot drill on that area over there using the pecking option, going down to the defined depth I gave it. The same was done in the next operations using again the exact same spot drill for these holes over here as well as these holes over here these tapped holes over here now the next operations were regular drilling operations each with their individual sized drill that they needed this one being for this hole over here if i were to open up that operation you'll see again i'll be using the exact same geometry as i used before on that area this time the tool will be the 17 and a half millimeter drill going down to the very bottom of the part with an excess of three millimeters at the very end. The same was done in this operation over here and this operation over here using the drills to clear out the material inside those holes. Now, the last drilling operation was a tapping operation for this hole over here. Just to go quickly into that operation itself, we'll be using the geometries as shown over here. And the tool in this particular case will be the M12 tap to tap out those holes. Going into my technology, you'll see we're using the cycle for tapping. Now, to clear out the final hole, this counter bore over here, We've done that using a regular profile operation. Just to quickly go into that operation, we have our geometry, these two circles over there. The tool will be the 12 millimeter end mill, and the levels will be from the very top up until the bottom of that counter bore over there. Taking a quick look at that simulation, you'll see that the tool just goes in and clears off those holes themselves. Now, to finish off this part, we've added chamfer operations to break the edges all around the part on all sides. And that's what all the rest of these operations will be doing. If I were to go into the first one, for example, I first want to clear off the very top edges over here. So I've chosen those two geometries. My tool will be the chamfer drill of 10 millimeters with a 90 degree angle. And if we go into our levels, you'll see I'll be taking off a total of 0.2 millimeters of the material on the edges itself, just breaking the edges. Going into technology, you'll see we'll be using the option of chamfer. And in the chamfer area, I'll be using a cutting diameter of one millimeter of the tool itself. Going into my simulation, you'll see that the tool goes down and just makes a nice chamfer on those edges. The same was done with the rest of these operations, clearing off this area over here, as well as the other side, these edges over here, as well as these edges over there. Now, this was also done on my other positions as well, clearing off these edges around the part over here as well as the ones on the flip side of the part over here as well now the same was also done on the bottoms of tops this edge over here as well as the edge on the flip side of the part and this actually completed the machining of this multi-sided part for more videos on solid cam professor Please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.